The inside of a black hole is perhaps the strangest place in the entire universe. If you just so happen to be unlucky enough to find yourself falling into one, you would be met with a seemingly infinite lasting but likely still painful death. As you pass the event horizon, your legs and feet would start to accelerate faster than the rest of your body, causing you to be stretched infinitely thin in a process known as spaghettification. Our universe is so big, it's easy to believe that nothing outside of it can exist. But what if I told you that scientists have theorized that our universe exists inside of a black hole? This may sound crazy upon first hearing it, however, after 13 billion years since our universe's beginning, it might be our best guess as to how. This theory has gained significant ground in the physics community over the last few decades, and today we are going to explore the possibility of this theory, as well as some of its implications. This is a deep dive into the black hole universe theory. If you wanted to turn the Earth into a black hole, you would have to compress all of its mass down to the size of a marble. This means all of the mountains, cities, and oceans are packed into a space smaller than an inch wide. However, this would be extremely small compared to the black holes we have observed in the universe. In fact, most known black holes far surpass this scale with masses up to tens of billions of times that of the sun and sizes that would engulf our entire solar system. The largest black hole ever discovered is Tun 618. Located 10.3 billion light years away in the constellation Canis Venetici, this behemoth boasts a mass of over 66 billion suns. And while this alone is a size that we cannot even imagine, it still dwarfs in comparison to the size of the entire universe. You have likely heard that the observable universe is expanding, but what is it expanding into? Well, the observable universe currently spans around 96 billion light years in diameter, but it is possible that the entire universe continues forever. What we do know is it just so happens that if you wanted to turn our universe into a black hole, you would have to condense all of the mass from the entire universe into a sphere just slightly larger than the observable universe. When faced with this logic, scientists came up with a concept known as black hole cosmology, claiming that our entire universe exists within an enormous black hole. While we wouldn't be able to cross the event horizon, it turns out that as long as the black hole is large enough, we would be completely safe. How could living inside of a black hole be safe? Well, let's go back to the idea of an observable universe. 48 billion light years away in any direction is the cosmic horizon. This is the boundary that separates our observable universe from the greater universe. However, this boundary, much like the event horizon of a black hole, is not fixed. No matter where throughout the universe you travel, or how fast you go, the cosmic horizon will always be 48 billion light years away, in every direction. Surprisingly, scientists claim this is remarkably similar to what would happen inside of a black hole. They say that from the inside, the event horizon would behave identically to the cosmic horizon of the observable universe. But how do they know this? While there's no direct evidence for what the inside of a black hole really looks like, over the last century we have seen progress in the field of physics that has helped us make educated guesses. In 1915, Albert Einstein introduced the very concept of black holes through his theory of relativity. In his theory, we see gravity as the curvature of space-time as opposed to just a pulling force. Imagine if you had a flat blanket. If you had a bowling ball, then it would create an indent in the blanket. Now pretend the blanket is the space-time plane and the bowling ball is a massive object, such as the sun. If you added a baseball, or the earth, then it would create its own indent, but would inevitably be caught up in the indent of the bowling ball. Instead of one massive object attracting another, it changes the very essence of time and space, which makes other objects act accordingly. Einstein's theory also gives us a glimpse into how black holes affect our current universe. By suggesting that time is relative, Einstein introduced the concept of time dilation, 
to the world of physics. If you've seen the movie Interstellar, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. In the movie, a group of scientists travels to a planet to find a new home for humanity. However, instead of a star, this planet orbits a supermassive black hole by the name of Gargantua. Due to the intense curvature of space-time around the black hole, the crew experiences perhaps one of the most intense cases of time dilation. You see, for every hour that they spend on the planet, seven years would pass on Earth. After running into obstacles during their research, they spent around three and a half hours on the planet. Once they successfully escaped the gravity, they realized that a whopping 23 years had passed on Earth. It can be hard to wrap your head around the concept of time dilation, but this really goes to show just how bizarre these massive space objects can be. Where do these black holes come from? Well, at the end of a star's life, it has three possible outcomes, depending on its mass. Smaller stars, such as our Sun, will slowly release their matter in the form of planetary nebula and then live on for billions of years as white dwarfs. Stars that are much bigger, around 15 times the mass of the sun or more, will have a fiery end in the form of a supernova. After this truly galactic scale explosion, the star will either stay intact, turning into a dense neutron star, or for the largest of them all, it will collapse, forming into a black hole. When a truly massive star collapses, the waves of space-time flow inwards, leading to a point of infinite curvature at its center. This place, named the Singularity, boasts not only infinite time and infinite space, but also infinite gravity, making it a seemingly perfect place for a Big Bang to occur, giving rise to its own ever-expanding universe, although we will talk more about this later in the video. Now, we only mentioned the introduction of the concept of black holes. However, alongside his theory of relativity, Einstein proposed his field equations to describe a gravitational field outside of a spherically symmetric mass. This set of 10 inner related equations had profound implications on how we understand gravity and the very fabric of space-time. For the first time in over 250 years, we had a new understanding of gravity. With his introduction of these equations, Einstein was able to prove Newton's ideas of galactic scale gravity wrong. And surprisingly, during the first year, another physicist named Carl Schwarzschild was able to come up with an exact solution to the field equations for the limited case of a single, spherical, and non-rotating mass which just so happens to perfectly describe one known type of black hole. A Schwarzschild black hole, or static black hole, is a black hole that has zero speed and angular momentum. And when describing this black hole, Schwarzschild inadvertently introduced the idea of the event horizon. He found that a static black hole must have a boundary around it, separating it from the rest of space. This boundary, known as the Schwarzschild radius, later became what we know today as the event horizon. He also found that when doing gravity calculations, both within and outside the Schwarzschild radius gave similar results, possibly becoming the first scientist to unintentionally give rise to the black hole universe theory. Deep within a black hole at its very center is the singularity. While it might be the most misunderstood concept in all of physics, pondering its implications has allowed us to come up with more and more intriguing theories. One such theory is the singularity of a black hole is the very connection of our universe to another. Is it possible that you can transcend reality and visit another universe by entering a black hole? This exact question gives rise to another concept known as the black hole big bang theory. But before we can explain this, we need to understand another concept called Hawking radiation. In the 1970s, Stephen Hawking came up with the groundbreaking idea that black holes eventually evaporate and meet their end through an idea known as Hawking radiation. Hawking claimed that throughout the universe, there are virtual particle antiparticle pairs that continuously pop into existence and annihilate one another. However, at the boundaries of a black hole, some of the particles get sucked in past the event horizon, leaving the other particles in the pair to wander aimlessly through the universe. After a time so long not even our universe has seen, the black hole will lose enough particles until it cannot hold itself together anymore, and it will collapse. This event would be much like that of a supernova, but to another level completely. Not to mention, we are not completely sure what would happen if a black hole collapsed into itself, but one guess is that it would create another universe entirely. Yes, really. Some scientists say that the singularity that started the Big Bang, 13 
billion years ago could have been the leftover singularity from a dead black hole, bringing us back to the black hole big bang theory. But what other implications does this theory have on our reality? Well, believe it or not, this is where things really start to get crazy. As we start to unravel the nature of black holes, we are confronted with two concepts that challenge our very understanding of the cosmos. The first of these concepts is known as the information paradox, and it can best be described with the following question. When an object is fully swallowed by a black hole, where does it go? The field of thermodynamics has given us laws to help explain the conservation of energy in our universe. Put simply, energy cannot be created nor destroyed, only transferred from one type to another. There is a very similar principle in quantum physics that describes the conservation of information. However, based on our current understanding of quantum mechanics, it seems that black holes completely ignore this rule. Not only this, we see the same paradox arise when studying the possible information loss that occurs during the Hawking radiation process that we discussed earlier. One proposed solution to the information paradox is the holographic principle. The holographic principle is essentially the idea that the information swallowed by a black hole is encoded onto its event horizon. This is an extremely complex topic that I plan on making an entire video about in the future. So for now, let's move on to the second concept, wormholes. Do you remember before when we imagined the space-time plane as a blanket? Well, now let's imagine if this blanket was folded over onto itself. The presence of a supermassive object such as a black hole could create an indent so deep that it creates a hole through both layers of the blanket, seemingly connecting them. Well, this is the idea of a wormhole, an object that bends the space-time plane in a way that can connect two distant regions of the universe in a type of tunnel. While this sounds like speculation, scientists have been taking this idea rather seriously and attempting to use it as a way to strengthen our overall understanding of gravity. One of these scientists was none other than Albert Einstein. Nearly 20 years after first introducing his theory of relativity, relativity and field equations, Einstein was collaborating with physicist Nathan Rosen when they came up with yet another proposed solution to the field equations. Alongside their solution, a new concept is introduced by the name of the Einstein-Rosen bridge, or the wormhole. You see, these two physicists were perhaps the first ever to imagine the distortion of space-time leading to these cosmic tunnels. And while they believe this bridge to be a one-way journey, subsequent theoretical analysis has introduced the idea of completely traversable wormholes. Going back to the context of the black hole Big Bang Theory, it is possible that the Einstein-Rosen bridge could give rise to a new universe. What if by entering a black hole, you were inadvertently creating a brand new universe? This is a strictly theoretical idea, but like the information paradox, it is an attempt to answer one of the most important questions surrounding black holes. What happens to matter and information that has entered a black hole? While we have taken a deep dive into the mysterious nature of black holes, event horizons, and singularities, you might be shocked to hear that there is another object in the universe that is even more puzzling, dark energy. Dark energy is the invisible substance that fills the voids of the cosmos in between galaxy clusters. Pretty much all that is known about dark energy is that it is responsible for the expansion of the universe and for holding galaxies together. Something you might surprise to hear isn't a responsibility of the black hole. Scientists believe that the supermassive black hole at the center of galaxies may have influenced the formation of the galaxy, but contrary to popular belief, these massive space vacuums actually have little to no effect on the gravity of a galaxy. However, as the most active and powerful bodies in the universe, the study of black holes might give rise to new ideas of just how this dark energy works. The inner workings of a black hole and our universe itself may be linked in ways that we don't currently understand. What if, inside of every supermassive black hole, there was a completely new universe, which in turn was full of supermassive black holes that each contained their own new universe. This idea has also been used as an attempt to explain how the universe recycles itself, but we also haven't found any strong evidence to rule it out. While it might seem like pure speculation, this intriguing theory could provide new insights to the origin, expansion, and eventual end of the universe. Scientists continue to study this theory 
in order to determine what implications it might have on us. However, as with many universe theories, the only purpose might be to encourage you to think outside of the box. But when all is said and done, we know very little about the universe. And instead of trying to come up with our own theories, it might be a better idea to try and study the universe that already exists. Are we living inside of a black hole? Maybe or maybe not. But to some, this is a much better argument than something like the simulation hypothesis, where we we aren't even sure if the universe could sustain such hardware. Regardless of the implications for the future of humanity, we can acknowledge how far we have come in our understanding. It was just over a hundred years ago when the likes of Albert Einstein and Carl Schwarzschild first explored the idea of black holes. Fast forward to 2019, we have captured our first ever image of a black hole, once and for all proving their existence and sending humanity into a new era of understanding the laws of physics and the universe itself. If you made it this far, I wanted to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video about the black hole universe theory, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And what do you think? Is it possible that our universe is inside of a giant black hole? Or was the singularity of the Big Bang just the collapsing singularity of a former black hole? Let me know in the comments below. For another deep dive into a complex universe theory, check out this video about the multiverse theory.